Hi, Linda Bowen here from StampingWithLinda.com, your cardiologist since 1997, helping you create cards from the heart. Today's card, we are going to feature the Joyful, joyful Nativity, and I'm also going to spotlight that stitched um, framelits that I showed you on Tuesday. This um, set of uh, framelits is squares, circles and ovals, and it will be featured in the new um, catalog come um, June, but we get to play with it now because it's a release, and I am going to go in and I'm going to get that smallest circle, and I'm going to pop that out of there, and I'm going to bring in my Big Shot. I'm going to be using uh, my magnetic platform and my cutting mats and a piece of Knight of Navy this time and going to use the circle, like I said. On Tuesday's video, I used the square. There's just so many things that you can do um, with this set of framelits, and I think it's a must because it just gives you so much detail to your circles and ovals, as you can see the stitch around there. So let's get started. I'm going to work on my card now. Again, I am using that Joyful on Nativity. And because it is a photopolymer, I'm able to um, adhere both the joy and the wording on one stamp, which makes it very easy when I go to stamp several cards. I'm going to be using the Knight of Navy um, ink, so we're going to ink that up. That joy is very bold, so I want to make sure that I get a good coverage. And then I'm just going to go in and stamp it about there. I'm going to use even pressure across. I am using that paper piercing mat. Just find that that helps me get good ink coverage on what I'm stamping. So I've got my joy. I'm going to go in. There's a little star. And so I'm going to put that right above. that joy. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my Wink of Stella and I am going to go around that joy that I stamped. Wink of Stella just gives you some extra shine without the mess of glitter. Go ahead and add that. I'm also going to add a rhinestone to um, the star. I'm going to get my paper piercer and go under that rhinestone. Just pick that up and put it right on that star. Next, what I've already done, um, and I probably should have cut it out, I stamped the angel um, from that stamp set, again, Joyful Nativity, and I used the Versamark and our new copper powder that came out in the catalog. Just love the look of copper, and so I heat embossed the angel, and now I'm cutting her out. I know fussy cutting, everything should probably have a framelit, but it doesn't. And so sometimes we just have to bring those scissors out. So it doesn't take too much. I'm going to take that angel and I'm going to place her on that stitch circle. I only need a little piece of dimensional. I'm going to add it right to that stitch circle. And I'm also going to add a dimensional to the back of that circle so that it just raises it right up and put it in the center of my joy. I'm going to go ahead and close that Knight of Navy pad because I have a tendency to put something in the ink pad. Never fails. Almost get a card done. Put it in the ink pad. So going to raise up all four sides with dimensionals. Going to bring in my half a sheet of vanilla cardstock. This measures five and a half by eight and a half. I'll take my bone folder, run that across, and then just add 
that front of the card. So very monochromatic, but very stunning. Just a quick um, Christmas card. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. Talk to you real soon. Bye-bye.